Greetings, Bethel Church. Grace and peace be with you. During these unprecedented times, I hope that hope has found room in your heart. Because no matter what we face, no matter what storms may come in our lives, we can stand strong on the promises of God that he'll never leave us or forsake us. Remember, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Church, I wanna invite you here in my home to uh, worship with us in your home this Sunday. I'm so encouraged uh, during our hour of power from 12 until one, as we've been praying together, joining in, we've had hundreds of you participate in our prayer time together. And, um, and we're just believing that God is moving we're going to continue it. I mean, we believe in the power of prayer. Bethel, we declare that it is a house, um, house of prayer for the nations. And uh, so continue to join us. Join us as well this Sunday. Uh, I know we earlier in the week thought we'd only be uh, having a, a 10 a.m. service time, but I'm pleased to um, announce that we're going to be able to meet at 9.30 as well as 11.15 um, like we normally do. Um, it'll just be a little different. We're going to be meeting um, with each other in our homes. And uh, you know we do that often during the week, but now we're going to do it on Sunday morning together. But we're also going to be adding a 6 p.m. service. So we're really excited about what God is going to be doing in our homes together as we worship God together. Here is Word at 9.30, 11.15, and 6 p.m. this Sunday. Bethel, I also want to encourage you, if you're able to go through the store and get some grape juice and some bread um, for the next couple weeks, I feel like the Lord wants us to take communion and uh, receive the blessing and the promise and the power of communion. And so on Sunday, I'm gonna be releasing a, a short teaching with uh, Pastor Israel on um, communion and how to take communion at home uh, with your family. And so believe that God um, has some awesome moments as we stand on his promises and we lean into his presence during this um, extraordinary time we're living right now. And um, I have great hope. I have a message of hope this, this Sunday uh, for us. Uh, we're gonna stir up our hope. Our hope is in Jesus. And uh, we're gonna get through this storm, church. We're gonna get through this storm. We're gonna get to the other side. God is faithful. God is good. And I love you and he loves you. So we'll see you on Sunday. God bless you. Have a great day.